hell are you doing? It's 10 after. Oh, shit. You have 30 seconds or I'm leaving without you. Uh, okay, 30 seconds. Mike! Let's go! Missing something, but why can't Jonathan just come down here for break? Because. Because why? Because a lot of reasons. You said there's lots of reasons he's not coming, such as. Why are you being so cozy? Let's call it journalistic instinct. There's no story here if that's what you're after. Desired girl in Hawkins? Okay. First of all, Fred, I'm going to try to forget that you said any of that. Split up. Burn. Well, first of all, you're not Jonathan. I've gone through a lot of managing editors, okay? Ooh, somebody's testy. A student died. And the game plan is for you to let me do the talking, for you to take notes in that little pad there, and for you to follow my lead at all times. Is that understood? Yeah, um, I, I was just going to, um, see Max Mayfield, a friend. I'll let you check on your friend, but just be fast, yeah? Of course. Officer, thank you. Okay, what was that? I said act casual. casual. Um, hi, I'm Nancy Wheeler from the Hawkins Tiger. I've talked to enough reporters. Yeah. I'm telling you, we've talked to everyone. No, not everyone. Let me level with you, Mr. Munson. Girl, I'm not about right. Let me guess. You've been speaking to the Hawkins Post. Chuck Bailey. That guy doesn't know his ass from his elbow. Let me tell your side of the story. You know someone who looks like they shouldn't be there? No. No, no, there, there was nobody there. And I already told this to Officer Daniels. Whoa, whoa, Nancy. Nancy, that's where are you going? Uh, there's just something I want to check on first. I don't want to waste your time. It's a real shot in the dark. You need, you need someone to... Escape from Penhurst Asylum and that he's the one running around Hawkins committing all these murders? Pretty much. You're going to wow us with later. But this is like <laughs> with blindfolds on who've been spun around 50 times. Mommy. You don't know me very well. I don't really have a filter or a strong grasp of social cues. Okay. So, all right, ladies. Here you go. Have fun. Yep. We'll try. try. Anything juicy over there? Just blah, 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 blah. Blah. Any mention? I don't know. Okay? It's starting to seem like this was just... Big waste of time. So why don't you just call Steve? I'm sure he'll come pick you up, and I mean, I'm not really in danger here, so. Steve and I are just friends. Like, platonic with a capital P. In case that's adding any tension between us. Wasn't, wasn't. Elvis, cloned by aliens. You never know. Okay, so, we have a plan. Nice GPA. Thanks. See, you're out of your mind if you think I'm babysitting. First of all, they're not babysitting anymore. And Max is in real danger. She needs people around her. I know the Tom Cruise poster. Just <laughs> Can you please not touch anything? No, I could like turn on my like my charm. Not the kind of charm you need. Ouch. Holy shit, there's a little ballerina in here. <laughs> this bra that you gave me is really pinching my boobs. Okay, could you just let me do the talking? If that's even possible. It's no, Larry. Quite well, actually. Our thesis is due next month. And you're out of time. Don't apologize, Ruth. Screw me. Uh, well, Rose, maybe you'd like to go outside and get some air. I'm excited to speak with Victor. Preferably, as she said, alone. Everything you hoped he would be. I just had a very interesting conversation with Professor Brantley. Perhaps we should discuss. You're not listening. Our friend is in danger. You really I think we can beat him. What? To the car. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, then Sorry. where is she? Morning, guys. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, everything's okay. okay. Like Freddy Krueger. Dustin, seriously? seriously, seriously, seriously. <laughs> She's got problems. Yeah, tell me about it. Flames that frankly never should have been snuffed out. I didn't mean that as a hint or anything. 
Right. I'm sure I winced or something. I didn't flinch or wince. Keep an eye out for trouble. You keep an eye out. Compass. Oh, wait. You are not going in there, are you? Just wait here. Wait. Hey. God damn it. Hey there. Wait, watch out for the vines. It's all a hive mind. Well, we don't have to go all the way downtown for guns. I have guns. You, Nancy Wheeler, have guns, plural. Your bedroom? Full of surprises, isn't she? Maybe you left him somewhere else. There's a six-year-old in the house. I know where I keep my guns. Stains are, uh... I don't know what those stains are. Do you remember what you did, Nancy? He's dead. We have to go back in there. Let's think this through, okay? He's here to think through. This time, we will be. We'll get weapons and protection, find his lair, and we'll kill him. Really, I'd agree, but we need the weapons, so I think it's worth the rest. How much is this? One twenty ninety nine, but I'll throw in twenty rounds of buckshot for you. Do your thing. Thank you. I wouldn't expect to find you here. Well. It's just scary time. Want my advice? Someone can just grab that barrel like this and redirect it. They look nervous. Scary time. About his friends. They here with you? Would you let go? Let go. Is this legal? Actually, I think it's a felony. But it guarantees one thing: I won't miss. How's she feel? Nobody moves on to the next phase until we've all copied. Then we better not waste it. Guys, seriously, I've seen Mike's room look worse than this. Manuela? Cleaning supplies.